Welcome back to the show. Well, it is something that we use almost every day, our signature. But did you know it can actually tell a lot about you? Well, Gaina Scott with Campaign for Cursive and Family Life Coach Nancy Cohen are here to tell us more about that and also why it is so important for children to continue to learn the lifelong skill of cursive handwriting. Welcome back. Well, Thanks so thank much for you. joining yeah. us. Thank you, Tina. Heather, we're delighted to be here and that we get this opportunity <laughs> to talk so about happy cursive. To have you. And I'm, I'm also. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be. be nervous. <laughs> We've got good news for you. So, but first of all, with Campaign for Cursive, the reason that Nancy and I are involved in this is really primarily for the public school kids to continue learning this lifelong skill because there's so much research that's done that indicates it's really good for their cognitive development as well as their self esteem. And it uh, just helps them calm down. So, it really is a skill that can take them through their whole entire life, really, or mostly their academic uh, school. Yeah, I'm really glad you're talking about this because we have two kids in our house and they're actually kind of learning cursive now. Oh, great. And a lot of people think, especially the kids, that it's just, you know, a fancy way of writing that's sort of outdated. Would you maybe have something to say to those people? We would. Actually, this is not your grandmother's writing anymore. I think that's the main thing that we want to get across, that there's modern handwriting. We've got a couple of examples here. Our group is nonprofit, grassroots. We really don't, you know, push any particular style, except we do like very simplified writing, which these are indications of that. Um, so kids can learn it really very quickly. 15 minutes a day, we have a, a contest, and we ask kids to write why they like cursive writing. And one of the little boys actually wrote, he was in seventh grade. He did not know how to write cursive, but he wanted to learn how to do it. So his mom asked him if he, if, you know, he could learn. So she got a tutor and he, he told us he learned it and he practices lowercase, practices uppercase, and he learned it in a fortnight, he said. Yeah. Now, oh, now he feels yeah. he can, you know, open a bank account or sign his name, yeah. you know, so, so it's, it's about modern cursive. It's not, oh, you know, all of that. So, but it's about the brain connections. Yep. It's, it, it makes pathways and it makes, um, you be, can learn to be more patient and more focused, and it actually, um, ha with MRIs, and there has been studies that support that it, it really affects how we learn and think. So it's very, very important. And of course, we were talking about learning the signature and yes. how to do that, and then we we're talking about that it shows a little bit about you when you do decide to sign something. Exactly, because it is, it's not handwriting, it's brain writing. Right. And so for the one to practice it is gonna make your brain learn new skills, but it also reflects your personality. So yes. we actually sent you some of our signatures ahead of time for you to analyze, and we have Tina's up right now. What okay. can you tell us about Miss Tina's? Okay, <laughs> well here we go. We have good news. You're both in the great in the right profession. Okay. So that, well, that's we'll start out with that. well suited for your career. The, but the, I, we want to premise this by saying that when you just look at somebody's signature, that really doesn't tell the whole story. It's like looking at somebody's nose and trying to see their whole face. So a, a graphologist, uh, if you were getting professional handwriting analysis done, you would do it on a whole sheet of paper and you would have your signature. So with that little caveat, <laughs> yeah. so you understand this is just a snapshot and a signature is really your logo, it's your public appearance. And that's why we want kids to really practice this, mm -hmm. to feel really good about them. And I was wondering, I'm proud of what yeah. their signature says. Do you like your signature? Are you um, happy with my it? My boyfriend makes fun of it. <laughs> <laughs> and what so, part does he make fun of? The, the T, the I, the N, the A. He always says, someone's gonna think your name is Zima. Uh -huh. That's what he always says. So it does look like Zima. It does. I'm call you Zima from I now on. I, <laughs> that sounds kind the of strong, Z. like a strong woman. But I don't know what does it say though. Well, what it says, good news. I think your boyfriend's right on this. It oh. is a strong presence. It's oh. not about the tea though. I, it's it shows a very strong presence um, that people notice you. They recognize you. You have very good leadership potential. You're very good at research and investigative abilities. So you would actually be a very good investigative journal. And the reason for that is because of the way that you think and that you're critical about facts. You really want all the facts and then you do an analysis of that and you're careful about how you communicate back that information. So your style of communication makes you able to persuade people to see that point. So that's okay. actually a, a really great sign. I do agree. I, think, I do agree I to, think, to yeah. an extent, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I, think, I think a lot of those were points. I'm going to keep points. an eye on it. All right. Well, you also have great follow through, tenacity. You've got a lot of resourcefulness. You're very determined. 
and uh, you have a level of curiosity, which means that you have an open mind. That's why this investigative research yeah. thing would be really mm -hmm. very good, because you you don't take things right at face value. You ask a little bit more, you think about it, and then you're very good about how you communicate that to wow. get your very point nice. across. Well, let's look at Heather's, which is a lot <laughs> different than mine. I know. Okay, so I gave you two, because the top one is, like, if I'm in the store and I'm signing a receipt, that's right. what I do. The bottom one is if I'm going to sign an, an autograph, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I'm going to sign my whole name. So that's right. why there's two. And how do you feel about your signature? I think it's a hot mess. You think it's <laughs> a hot mess? It's really? sloppy and, and quick and, you know, yes, you, there's right. definitely no last name so that you can read. So there's sharp line quality to it and there's speed, which means that you have um, quick thinking and you're, you have investigative qualities too. You have that very um, long T-bar up there that shows good energy and ambition. Uh, you bring creativity to your everyday activities, thinking, um, you're goal focused, and, but it's in a practical form. Um, you emotionally connect with um, the people who are on air, maybe a little bit more than Tina does. Maybe you feel that a little bit oh. more than she does, and um, they recognize that in you. Um, your strong motivation and practical intelligence, your ambitious, successful, and articulate. You know what? I don't know why I was so afraid because this, <laughs> this sounds exactly, exactly perfect yeah. like me. And I want to hear more on the break. But um, first, we want to give our viewers some more information. And I want to say thank you so much for joining us. Well, oh, thank, thank you. Thank you for having thank us. You. And the Handwriting Lecture Series starts on May 14th, 7 p.m. at Mostly Books. For more information, you can call 299-7952 or log on to cursiveiscool.com.